Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a multilingual website with Divi and WPML. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So before we get started, there's something very important I need to point out. So if I come over here to purchase on WPML.org, you'll notice that we have these three pricing options. So the very first one here, you might be thinking, okay, I might go with this one here, but you know what, if you're trying to translate this with page builders, this very first option will not work. So as you can see here on page builder support, it doesn't have it. It only has it here on uh, this one here in the middle and the multilingual agency. So you want to make sure you download the right one. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Now, once you sign up for the service, you get a login. So let me just show you what it looks like here in my login dashboard. So over here, this is where you get access to your download. So you can see here, these are the four that I need. I've already gone ahead and downloaded all these four. And also you need to uh, get your licensing code so that you enter it while you uh, set up or during the setup time in your website. All right, so over here now on our website, if I come over here to my plugins, you can see these are the plugins that are installed and I've also gone ahead and activated them. So once activated, you get this entry here called WPML. So this is where you can go into various items here to manage your WPML plugin. So over here, you can see we have our languages. So this is where you uh, set your languages. So in my case, I've gone ahead and set French and German for this website as an example. So what we're gonna do now is to create a brand new page by coming over here to pages and then clicking on add new. So here, I'm just gonna call it uh, translate. And then I'm gonna click on use DV Builder. So I'm gonna choose pre-made layouts. And here we're going to go with a bed and breakfast. So let's see what comes up. Here we go. So here's my bread and breakfast layout. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So this is the one that we are going to use for this example. But of course, you can create your pages from scratch and this will work without a problem. So now that everything is all set, I'm going to hit publish. So at this stage, you can go in and change your text and pretty much in the first language that you uh, that you want to translate this into. So once you've translated this, um, I mean, once you've set up your page in, let's say, for example, in this case, English, what you want to do now is to exit the Visual Builder and then click on Edit Page. So here, when you hit Edit Page, you see this option here, which says Multilingual uh, Content Setup. So what you do now on this page is to come over here to your languages. So you'll see this here on the side. So these are the two languages that I selected earlier on. So if I click here on this plus button, this will add a translation to German. So I've already gone ahead and done that for French. So this is now happening in the background. I'm just going to hit update. So once you uh, click on this language here on this left panel, you will get this message saying this page that you're editing is being translated right now. If you edit now, some of all your translation on this page will be missing. So I'm just going to click here. Don't show this again. Continue editing. So now what I need to do is to head over here to this left side. So you can see this gear icon here, which says edit the French translation. So I can click here on these little gears and this will now give me a side by side of my website and what I can actually go in and translate. So these are the, all, all the contents of my homepage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Lorem Ipsum here because I'm I'm not a French speaker, so I'm just going to add some dummy text here and pretend that this is a translation. So I'm going to start here with the title. So I'm going to just copy that and then back over here. So for, let's say, bed and breakfast, enter that. So I'm just pretending that this is my translation. So the other thing that I also do is to click here on this text tab just to make me uh, take a look at what we have here. So as you can see, my first text here is a heading five. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then the second one here is heading one. So you want to make sure that uh, this matches as you go through this. So here we have uh, San Francisco. I think that will just say the same. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, once you're done with that, you see this here at the bottom, it says 0% complete. You want to make sure you press just check mark. And this now gives us an indication that this here has been translated so that you don't actually miss anything throughout all this. So here, I'm going to check that. I'm going to also add 
home in mills. So let's say home in mills. I'm just going to copy some text here and uh, just add it as the translation. So as I'm adding this text, you can see that um, my text here is being, I mean, my uh, scale here is being uh, updated. So now we're at 6%. And again, here on the about us, same thing. You want to go ahead, you know, copy your text and I'm going to paste it in here. And again, like what we did before, you want to go in and make sure you have the right headings. So here I'm going to click on the text tab and this one is H6. So I'm going to highlight that, set this to H6. And then this one here is H2. So again, I'm just going to copy that, set it to H2. And what you want to do is to continue doing this until you have completed your translation. So as you can see here, we are 9%. So you want to go in and uh, translate the whole page. And then once everything is all done, um, this page will be ready to be viewed. So here I'm just going to, you know, just put this over like this so that I just, you know, speed up this whole process. So in your case, just pretend that this is your translation and you're going through all of this, translating it into, you know, the right language. So once you add all your fields, your translated fields here, it will show you here as 100% complete. Now, once that's done, you can now click on save, save and close. So now let's take a quick preview of this page that we've just translated. So if I come over here and refresh, you'll notice that mm, nothing really has changed. So we also don't have a way of switching our languages here. So even if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom, there's no way of actually doing that. So what you want to do now is to head over here to appearance, click on menus. Now over here, we can also add a language, uh, language switcher. So I'm going to click here on add language switcher. And I can say first menu item or last menu item. So it doesn't really matter. So it just depends where you want to have it. So for first menu, it will be here right in the beginning. And uh, last, it'll be right here at the end. Okay, so I'm going to have it here at the beginning. I'm also going to add a flag. And you can also see here, this is the preview of what this looks like. And you can also go ahead here and change your, your colors. But I'm just going to leave this as it is. And then click on save. And now, if I come over here to my site and refresh, we can see now that we now have this language switcher. So right now, it's in English. And if I click here on French... This will now go into the translation that we did earlier on. But of course, I just, you know, pulled over all the information that I had on the current page. So this is how you would switch between the languages. And if you want to add another language, you can also do it here on the language switcher. So you can actually go in and edit this and uh, just add all your languages. Now, over here on uh, translation management, this is also different ways of actually translating your website. So you can uh, use a translation service. So if I click on that, you can choose your service here. And there's quite a lot of uh, good ones here. But uh, bear in mind that these are paid. So if you click on activate, uh, you'll get a quote for the translation service. Or you can set a translation uh, translation manager. So by coming over here, you can add by clicking here. And then you can give them a role to um, translate your website for you. So you can actually see all that progress as they're making all the translations. So pretty much this is how you would add a WPML's translation plugin to translate your website into different languages. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.